the data protection law. But because the companies and the, of course technology, they go faster than law, we are already talking about metaverse. So imagine all this problem that our colleague Dio talk about the uh, GDPR law, data protection law. Imagine all this in this new world, the metaverse. Uh, who here have a hoard or at least have been in the metaverse? Somebody? May somebody have been there? At least your child. You know, because metaverse is not a new subject. Metaverse is beyond us since uh, at least 20 years. I have uh, two children. One um, boy, he has 30 years to, today, old, and he used to, to play tibia. I don't know if uh, somebody here know, but it was crazy because he spent sometimes 10 hours in this game. This was a metaverse. 20 years ago, we are talking. Then later, I had my daughter. Now she had 23, and she was also playing this The Sim. I'm sure somebody heard about this game. And this The Sim, it was also metaverse. So the metaverse is not new, became new. Uh, became new now for some people because uh, Facebook made a lot of noise when he went, uh, the, the company changed, switched the name for Meta. So this should concern us today because uh, the Metaverse today, even as I comment, came from the gamers' world, now this will come to our entire life. We can talk about uh, our job, our social life, the way that we travel, everything will be in the metaverse. This world that we know will disappear. <laughs> of course, we will be here, but for sure, when you know a little bit about the metaverse, you will understand why most of our time we will spend there in this new world. This is so serious today that even we have an embassy already building the place there. And of course, was Facebook that made us, but it's not just Facebook that is here. Google, Apple, Microsoft, the Central Land, all these big companies that our colleague also mentioned, that is today rendered with a lot of uh, data information, our data information, all this company, they are building this new world with a lot of billion dollar. Imagine, just as you see, Google, almost $40 million is spent to build this new world. And all this industry, they are already building something there. Even my company is building something there. <laughs> I don't want to be outside from this. And I advise you don't. This is the future. Look at sport, fashion, cosmetic. May somebody ask you why cosmetic will be in the digital world? Because they can sell the makeup inside this world and then we will receive in our home. And who is not building there? They will come soon. Medicine, cities, our city will be there. Defense, teletransport. So what people are saying about, look at everybody wants it's this new world. You know why? Because imagine now in this situation in COVID-19, when we could, uh, everybody was in home, worrying about our family, if we were in the metaverse, just put our handset, we could visit any of our relatives and be with them, among them, in safety. Also, imagine in the work environment. Maybe you don't like the place that you work, but if you are in the metaverse, you can choose where you want to be. 
could be, I don't know, in a Taj Mahal, working there. Imagine it. it will be wonderful, no? Listen, Beethoven, alive. This could be a wonderful place to work. So, and it's even more. Imagine all this hour that we spend in traffic. In two minutes, we will be there, work with our colleague and all women here. Everybody knows how long hours we spend in to try to look beautiful, no? Believe in this. I be one hour makeup and hair. Everybody knows what it means. That even the husband, because they need to wait us. Yes, that will be not a problem anymore. We don't need to worry about that because our avatar will look as we want that look. If you want to be taller, slim, or even one dinosaur, doesn't matter. Who cares? In this place, in the metaverse, everybody will be what they want. So it looks wonderful. It's perfect, no? <laughs> but, you know, this is that time when this is crack. <laughs> Sorry, but I, am, I love the jokes. It's not too perfect. With all these good things, will come also problems that, as our colleague mentioned before, that is protected by the data protection law. So, in this new world, we don't uh, we'll just give some information about us as uh, that of birth, our name, or type is something that we have uh, some control. In this world, our information will be inside. We will be there with all our expression, our feeling. So if we, we today are worrying about uh, what to do with our data, what the user is manipulated by a certain company, will be interesting to know how this will be when we will be in inside this world with all our feelings. So this is why we need to do this kind of question. What will be the legal limits for the processing of data? Which will, in that, in that place, not we are talk about just our body language, even our physiology response. This is insane word. With some handset, they can even read our thought. And what will be, and most important, will be there some point that uh, allowing the process and sharing this data? Or even, can data collected from the avatar be considered personal data? This point is super interesting. You know why? Because uh, the right of uh, personality like image, honor, privacy, was made for human beings. But in the metaverse, we will be one digital form of us. So this avatar that will represent us there inside this new world, they can be considered person that all this right belongs to them. This is... Amazing word, but with a lot of doubt that our legislators should care. You know why? This situation that it's uh, Facebook. <laughs> Everybody for sure heard something about this scandal, Cambridge Analytical. When they collect uh, information about uh, a lot of uh, users, all the users, and they try to to make these people think what they will vote. Remember this case of Donald Trump? This was a big scandal. You know why? Because the user, they didn't know what happened. They didn't allow, they didn't consent this manipulation of their data. But Facebook, now Meta, they didn't care. Of course, they are answering, um, pay a lot of penalty. They, this is a big discussion, but if the Facebook 
now Meta is the main company that is building this metaverse. And in, nowadays is the company that nobody can trust. That's the truth. Come on, be honest. How we will trust our data for that company? And even in this situation, we have other kind of problem that everybody here from IT knows that is these uh, hackers with these ransomwares. In, in, in three years more, 99% of the company uh, data breach will come by human. You know why? Because uh, when hackers are looking how to enter in your system, they probably will do through the human mistake, error, not for machine. Because it's, it's the people, it's our employee that uh, manipulated the system. So if we, in our day, the hackers is a big problem, and it is, most of the company is spend a billion dollars in this situation when they have uh, hackers. Because uh, these guys, they hijack the system and they ask ransoms, usually billion, Bitcoin. And if the company don't want to pay because the company may rely, okay, I have a backup, I don't need, I can start again my system. Okay, you know what happened? Penalt, <laughs> because they will release the data and as again, our colleagues show the penalty in some country is, if it's sensitive data, we, we are talking even about prison. And why I'm talking about sensitive data? Because in the metaverse, all will be about sensitive data. Because in this world, we, we will be there with our thoughts with uh, this handset, like Neuralink, they will read our thoughts, they will scan our facial expression, they will even hear our emotion to our beat heart. So imagine all amount of information, sensitive information this guy will have about us. And if we talk about the uh, hackers, who knows if the, uh, my colleague avatar or the CEO of some company that I am negotiating there, it's him. May could be one hackers using the avatar. Like in this case, this is all the problem. Also, our colleague mentioned about the international transfer. In this Marriott case, I, I like to use this. I now have uh, our colleague from Turkey here. Marriott pay in UK a huge amount of penalty when they breach the uh, client's data. But uh, this guy, this company pay twice. Pay also for Turkey because uh, even was there in the UK, they leak a data from Turkey since then and they pay for the regulator, ICO and Turkey regulator, penalty twice. You know why? The most interesting is this happened because of they skipped the due diligence. They had one hacker inside the system that was there three years in a company, the, the other hotel that was a Star Wars hotel. They Marriott bought this, and this hack, they imported this hacker. Imagine it. When this, the, this hacker uh, leaking this data was three years after this uh, merging company. So again, somebody don't did the well the due diligence. And, and of course, this international leaking caused a lot of uh, problem for this company. And now we need to think about the jurisdiction, the metaverse. Okay, now here in, we have a border countries, a country border, sorry. But there, in the metaverse, there is no border. The people, the avatar, will jump from one platform to the other, carry in its avatar all our information, everything. May 
we have uh, something in the scheme like tattoo in the the shirt all this is data or even what they express because when they walk this avatar walk in the metaverse world everything will be advertised in front of him depend of he look uh, one second more of he feels some emotion all this data with uh, the vision with uh, the fingerprint with the voice print, all this sensitive data will be collected by this company. So, of course, everybody have a lot of questions here. I'm not a legislator for luck, so I don't know what will happen. I just came here to provoke you guys because our legislator right now, they should be handled with all this kind of problem. And have uh, some issues that stand between us and uh, this virtual utopy. For sure, today, our legislative companies, they are working and working on it, like uh, political regulations, of course. Moderation and IP rights. Imagine <laughs> when I be there, who is my, my brand or who had the control? Nobody knows. Privacy and ethic. What happened? Like I will ask soon if my avatar uh, commit me some harassment. It's me or it's just the digital representation? We don't know yet. And of course, important is the accessibility. In our days, the metaverse is not open source. So belongs to some company. If you continue like that, which control we will have? They will control our life, our entire life, our emotion, who we are, what we think. This is really dangerous. So we are talking about this parallel universe that for sure we will be there, have no back way. And then again, what implication will this virtual universe have in terms of rights? What legal and business aspects should we consider when preparing for this new reality? How will case of unwanted interaction between avatar that incur offenses like honor, image, and privacy will be leader with that? Because these, we are talking about our personal right this this person when this avatar do something there some harassment they will answer for this and believe me in that world the cases of harassment will feel much more closer than you can imagine so because of that we need to be prepared, anticipate the future, because uh, it's, of course, as I commented, this is just provocative question. I didn't came here to give any answer. I don't have either, but I have been studying this metaverse. I love this, honestly. As I told, I am there already. My company is building something there. I want to be um, aware with the technology. It's belongs to my profession. I need to know this to attend my client that usually they are a startup. But we need to be today worried about that. We barely are under with the GDPR. M many companies even don't know what is this yet. Countries like here, they are just starting from that. So we need care today because the major model Everything is important to us may, may will be misused in this new world. So I invite you guys to think about and help your client, your companies, because this is the future. No way. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>